it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my October Trader Joe's haul. I love to go to Trader Joe's every fall to stock up on some of my favorite Trader Joe's seasonal treats. So let's go ahead and start here. This is something I look forward to coming out every single year. These are the Moon Drop Grapes. And as you can see, these are like a long grape like this size here and they are absolutely delicious. They are one of our favorites. We love Moondrop grapes and look forward to them coming out every single year. So I was happy when I saw those in stock. I also picked up some carrots, some more Honeycrisp apples, and that's all the produce I needed today. I'm pretty well stocked up on produce for this week. Then I picked up a few frozen foods here, the sweet potato fries. Thought I would try these here. These are jalapeno and cream cheese crispy wontons that look like they'd be a nice appetizer. Every time I go to Trader Joe's, I pick up a steak and stout pie two pack here. When I don't have time to cook dinner or I'm having a really busy week, I love to just pop these in the oven and serve them with a side salad. So I love to have steak and stout pies on hand in the freezer. I also love to have a cauliflower crust pizza in the freezer as well. These are gluten-free uh, cauliflower crust pizzas. This one is uncured pepperoni pizza, but it's nice that it has a bunch of other veggies on it as well. So we picked up one of their pizzas. I picked up a pack of puff pastry for some recipes that I wanna try out. And then also I picked up these egg witches. There are only two in this pack, but they're really good when I need a quick breakfast. And this is also gluten-free and of course this is a breadless sandwich. This is just like egg and sausage and cheese which is really nice. Then we also picked up two ice creams. We rarely get ice cream at Trader Joe's. Our Trader Joe's is pretty far away but we decided we would this time. They had this pumpkin ice cream that they were sampling and at first my husband tried it then he gave me a little bite and then we went back around and I decided to try a little bit more of it just to see if um, it was one that we liked. They also sprinkled some sugar free dark chocolate chips on it the second time we tried it and so later on you'll see that I picked up those chocolate chips as well but we decided to pick up the pumpkin ice cream and the coffee bean blast ice cream. So we are excited to try out some Trader Joe's ice cream. The pumpkin ice cream in the store was really delicious. So I will definitely have to have some of that today. It is Sunday. Sunday's the day I have some treats and I think this pumpkin ice cream will be delicious. I also picked up one little pot of pumpkin um, yogurt here and then some goat cheese. I love to sprinkle this goat cheese on uh, carrots that I roast in the oven and also drizzle them with a little balsamic vinegar. It's one of my favorite little side dishes. I also love having crumbled blue cheese on hand for salads. Then I'm going to be experimenting with some low carb lasagna recipes this coming week. So I picked up some ricotta cheese as well as Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese. Also picked up some cottage cheese to have on hand and then two cheeses for when we have company and we like to set out a little cheese and fruit platter. This is a caramelized onion goat milk cheese. That looks really good. We love caramelized onions so I thought that this one would be really tasty. And then I also thought that I would try this, the red Leicester cheese. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but it looked really good. The description of it sounded really good. So I thought we would try that one out. I also love that it was this pumpkin orange color. We got another dozen eggs, as well as two packs of their fully cooked uncured bacon. This is really tasty bacon and super fast to cook up. We also picked up some of their chicken breakfast sausage for breakfast one day. And I didn't need much meat, but I did need a pack of chicken leg quarters for a recipe that I've got coming up this week as well. So some chicken leg quarters there for one of my recipes. That was something I was out of. And one thing we always love to look at when we're at Trader Joe's are their chips and snacks and things. My husband loves chips and things like that. So we did pick out a few of those. Some of them like these ghosts and bats. The Trader Joe's ghosts and bats crispy potato snacks. I'm setting these aside for Halloween. 
think that they'll make a fun little snack. I think my grandkids will really appreciate that as well. Then we thought we would try out this maple and sea salt kettle popcorn. The maple flavor sounded really good. Then this one here is a potato, pea, and corn snack. So I thought that that would be another interesting one to try. I don't think I've tried that one yet. My husband was interested to try out these vegetable root chips. They've got like taro root, sweet potatoes, um, parsnips, I think, things like that. So just some yummy vegetable chips. And then I'm going to be doing a nacho dinner at some point in October and needed some blue corn tortilla chips for that recipe. This is a favorite of both my husband and myself. We don't eat very much cereal, um, just occasionally. And one of our favorites is frosted shredded wheat. We also love the variety from Great Value Brand at Walmart. But yes, we were running low on frosted shredded wheat. So I picked up another box of that as well. Here in the center, I picked up three little pumpkins. I'm hoping to do a little painting craft with these for our centerpiece here. So I picked up three for now. I'm still hoping to find some of the more rounded, um, smooth pumpkins that are also in this small size. I'll have to check my local grocery store for those, but these are really cute and I think it'll be fun to decorate with them. And we got a nice selection of items for the pantry, some more grated Parmesan cheese. I go through quite a bit of that. Some tartar sauce, garlic powder, and onion powder. We go through a lot of those. And this is the balsamic vinegar that I use when I roast my carrots and um, top them with crumbled goat cheese. I love drizzling them with a little bit of olive oil and this balsamic vinegar. This sweet chili sauce is wonderful when I make our turkey veggie rice bowls with cauliflower rice. A little tiny bit of this sweet chili sauce on the side is really delicious. I thought that we would try out this organic maple butter at some point in the fall. And then I got another can of kidney beans, three cans of black beans, one can of sockeye salmon, two cans of canned chicken, seven cans of black olives. We go through a lot of sliced black olives, a couple of cans of pumpkin, and six cans of the green chilies, the fire roasted green chilies. We love those. Also thought that I would pick up some of this pepper jelly around the holidays. I love to make cheese platters and things like that. I like to serve this pepper jelly on top of a block of cream cheese or like half a block of cream cheese with a little knife and you can scoop the topping on the cream cheese and this pepper jelly onto little crackers. It's really delicious. And I also thought I would try out this aioli garlic mustard sauce. I think this will be good with um, all sorts of dishes. I think that this will be nice on the side of different meats and things like that. So I thought I would try that. I also picked up a jar of Alfredo pasta sauce and a jar of vodka sauce, as well as a box of beef broth and a box of chicken broth. And then we got some dried fruit. I love having this to snack on for my grandkids. This is freeze-dried blueberries, raspberries, and cherries. I was happy to find the cherries and raspberries. They haven't had those for a little while, so it's nice to get three different freeze-dried fruits for the grandkids and myself to snack on. They're really tasty. We also like snacking on these soft and juicy mandarins. And then I thought I would try out their fig cookies here. I haven't tried their fig cookies before. They looked pretty good. We love Fig Newtons, so I think that these will be pretty tasty as well. We got some baking chips to set aside for the different holidays coming up. I got three of the semi-sweet chocolate chips, one of this caramel sea salt uh, baking chips. These are the no sugar added dark chocolate chips that I was uh, telling you about that they served as a sample on top of the pumpkin ice cream and it was really delicious. I got a little bag of these maple flavored marshmallows. This could be good in a hot beverage, perhaps even in some hot cider, I'm not sure. So I'll have to try those out. It just seemed interesting to have a maple flavored marshmallow. And we also thought we would try these covered honeycomb candies. I love honeycomb candies, so I'll have to set that aside. Um, as a special treat to try out at some point. We got a pumpkin spice mini sheet cake. I thought that that was really cute and a good size for a nice Sunday dessert. And then we have some ground espresso. I'm going to be getting out my espresso um, machine this week and hopefully giving it a try and seeing how this espresso blend works in that. I haven't gotten out my espresso maker in quite some time, 
but I've really been enjoying small cups of espresso lately, so I thought I would give it a try. I also got two other treats to set aside for Halloween. These are the Halloween JoJo's cookies. They are cute little pumpkin looking uh, sandwich cookies, a lot like Oreos. I thought my grandkids would get a kick out of those. And then a gluten-free pumpkin bread muffin baking mix. This is also something that I pick up every single year at Trader Joe's. These cinnamon whisks here, they're like little mini brooms. They are very cinnamony scented. They um, make the whole house smell wonderful. So I like to tuck these little brooms here and there throughout the house to make everything smell good and cinnamony. So I also picked up some cinnamon whisks, two of those. So that was our fun October fall grocery haul at Trader Joe's. I'm really happy with all the fun seasonal treats that we found, the maple popcorn, the ghosts and bats, the pumpkin ice cream, as well as some of the other fun seasonal treats and all of these wonderful groceries for my October meals. We spent a little bit more this time at Trader Joe's than we normally do. My Trader Joe's trip in October is always when I spend the most stocking up at Trader Joe's and this grocery order was $287.49. So a little bit more than I normally spend at Trader Joe's, but we are really stocked up on a lot of wonderful groceries. I hope you enjoyed checking out everything I picked up today at Trader Joe's and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.